Alrighty, back with another Synchro Festival Draco replay, and I opened both of my one-ups, Diagram and Metaltron, so my Pot of Desires are extra powerful this game. And I've... I, I like it when that happens, yeah. when your Pot of Desires can't ruin your deck. Yeah, so this is a particularly fun opening. Not a lot of Draco players use this guy, but this is where he shines the most. Uh, diagram popping him is going to give me another free body. It's a way of like basically turning him sideways while getting a free search. And then this actually drew two because of the trap and the monster that went to the graveyard. And now I've got two of them, and these guys actually create, um, I guess, the 2017 version of the Marauding Captain lock, where your opponent cannot target face-up true Draco monsters on the field with card effects except this one and they can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, they protect each other. My entire board now can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. And then, oh, that's why you, you put it in that zone, because you're not worried about Relinquish Anima. Yeah, and then the 3100 defense is quite something, and this protects them from battle once per turn, and Dimensional Fissure is going to beat any yeah. like Speedroid or Junk Synchron shenanigan-esque things that people try to do. Do you want to know something really funny tell me uh when i was playing through the yeah that doesn't work when i was playing through the uh a new account to level it up to get the resources onto for one of the deck features i was uh scoping i ended up playing against uh one of the earlier opponents in the uh solo modes actually does a modern captain lock and i just drew no way to beat it <laughs> i he had um what do you call it uh not, not reinforcements to the army, the A team? A forces. Oh, yes. That's it. Yes. <laughs> the and then A-forces. two broader captains and then just summoning big guys. And I was just like, I actually can't do anything about that. I, I lost <laughs> to the solo mode in the tutorial. I was like, who made this? Who made this tutorial so difficult? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the original deck I had built for the NR festival was Ignites and using the fact that they searched for a fire warrior to get Command Knight. Because I was like, I don't know how you out the Command Knight lock in the NR Festival, and it's the same thing. It's just the guys that say you can't attack anyone anymore, and they both boost each other by 400 for like an 800 boost total. Smash and Grind. <laughs> Smash and Grind is a pretty good card when you're facing down a Command Knight lock. So, he played Regeki, which just hilariously discards Regeki, because... I don't know, I've played Yu-Gi-Oh long enough that when I see a Regeki get thrown away for nothing, it feels crazy to me. Yeah. yeah, it's actually kind of weird, right? When we look back at what cards can do now, versus these cards that were, like, undisputably the best cards in the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh for the better part of a decade, I would say, at least. Actually, I don't know, when, when Regeki... Yeah, Regeki was forbidden for an extremely long time, uh, as was Monster Reborn. Yes. Actually, the Monster Reborn was... That was a weird one, because it got forbidden in the TCG, but not the OCG. Yeah, there's uh, there's something to be said. Uh, the OCG, uh, uh, the TCG as well, to almost as much of an extent, try to keep the anime cards safe where they can. And Monster Reborn and Super Polymerization for the GX equivalent were like the defining cards of the first two animes, and Japan never banned them. But North America banned both of them, and now both of them are back. Yeah, I obviously can't talk about that too much because I was involved in those discussions. <laughs> uh, as you worked on the FNL list, but like, it's just, yeah, it's interesting that you know, nowadays when you build a deck and you go, oh, I don't have room for Monster Reborn or uh, Brigeki because they're not extenders to my combo. You're like, these cards at one point. There was never a world where you wouldn't play them, <laughs> right? And we're now at a point where it's just like. Ah, it's, it's it's not good. It's not necessarily the best thing my deck can be doing. Well, there's your Monster oh, Reborn. Monster Reborn. On uh, probably my guy, but he has his... Ma no, he doesn't even have the magic key thing that got banished. Yeah, so he's going to Monster Reborn my Ignis Heat. <laughs> he can't... Hmm. I can't kill anything by battle once per turn. Oh, he's synchroing with my Ignis Heat. I don't even remember this duel, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Junk Destroyer, which also just doesn't work because everything's... A yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's one of the things. I mean, well, I can get it, right? I've I've played into things where I've made mistakes because I just didn't read the six paragraphs of text on a card and I missed the one thing that was in their graveyard that responded. So I can understand going, all right, I think I can do this. You've come up with the line in your head and you go, you go through it and then you realize you missed one line of text which says, but your opponent can't kill this unless they're wearing a purple hat and you just flip the table. 
<laughs> been, been there, done that. I can feel that pain. 